Hilo Hadi began a new chapter in its 46-year history today when it emerged from bankruptcy. The retailer has now gotten rid of $14 million in debt, has a new owner, and is planning an upgrade of its flagship store. KITV's Kilki Kerr has tonight's top story. Tourists shop for Aloha shirts and other merchandise, not knowing the importance of this day when Hilo Hadi emerged from Chapter 11 bankruptcy. This is a nice one. This is a nice one, yeah. Adeline Meinhardt from Holland wore a mu'umu'u she bought more than 20 years ago here. She's a loyal shopper on her annual trips to Hawaii. I like it, yeah. Everything that I see in the beginning, so, oh, that's nice, oh, that's nice. But I cannot buy everything now. Donald Kahn owns a local garment maker that was Hilo Hadi's largest unsecured creditor. He invested $3 million of his own money to take over Hilo Hadi. It was always my dream to own something as big as Hilo Hadi's, and my dream came true. The company plans to spend a quarter of a million dollars renovating its flagship Nimitz store, adding a hula performance area, Aloha shirt museum, a cafe, and a coffee roasting operation, and it will focus on improving all seven stores. Stores that have traditionally and historically performed very well, but have not done so well in recent times. And our, our goal is to bring those stores back to their high productivity. The company has gotten rid of loud, colorful, large prints and is trying to shed its tourist trap look of the past, courting the Kama'aina customer with new prints made in Hawaii by Iolani Sportswear and Tori Richard. Hilo Hattie sold off its last loud his and hers matching sets last summer. And as you can see, they're still matching sets now, but... They're a lot more subtle in color. It's always geared towards the tourists, therefore local folks don't come here. Sui Berkey of Alawai was one of the few local folks we found in the store, but she was buying clothes for friends and family on the mainland. Kyoki Kerr, KITV4 Island Television News.